What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video we're going to learn how to work with IPv6 sockets in Python. So let us get right into it. Alright, so IPv6 is the newest version of the internet protocol, also called IP. For the most time we have been using IPv4 and we are still using IPv4 but the address space is limited. We don't have enough IP addresses long term to support all devices, to support all people. We have 7 or 8 billion people. Uh, more and more people are getting internet access. We have more and more devices with more and more uh, sometimes public IP addresses which leads to problems and which is why we have IPv6 with a lot more IP addresses. We're not going to talk too much about the theory of IPv6 here. We are going to look at how to use sockets in Python with IPv6 because in all the videos that I have done on this channel, uh, on chats, on uh, file transfer or anything that has to do with sockets, I've always been using IPv4 sockets and today we're going to look at how to use IPv6 sockets. So we're going to open a new file and we're going to create a server.py file. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do here, as always, is we're going to import socket. So the library is the same library. We're just going to use a different type of socket. And before we start with that, we want to first uh, find out what our IPv6 address is. And for that, we're going to open up CMD on Windows and we're going to type ipconfig. And then you're going to see on your main Ethernet adapter, if you have the Windows subsystem for Linux, it's not this one, it's this one here, uh, or maybe you have a wireless adapter. Uh, and then you're going to look for the IPv6 address. This is the IPv6 address that you have at home, and this is the IPv4 address. So this is a typical IP address that most people know, and this is the IPv6 address, which allows for way more uh, addresses also uh, publicly than the IPv4 protocol. So this is the address that we're going to use for the connection in today's video. So we're going to copy it. Um, and now we're going to create a simple server socket by saying socket um, dot socket. And the type of the socket is going to be AF underscore INET, but it's going to be INET6. So just INET would be an IPv4 socket and INET6 would be an internet protocol version 6 socket. And then we're also going to say sock stream to make it a TCP socket. And then we're going to say server dot bind. And now we have multiple options. Now, first of all, what we can also do here with uh, IPv6 is we can just pass localhost. That is not a problem. This word also works with IPv6. And we can specify a port number. So four times nine, for example, to bind that server to that socket. And then we can say server dot listen. And then we can say while true server or actually client address equals server dot accept to accept connections. And then we're going to just print whatever the client sends to us. So we're going to say client receive 1024 bytes decode. And then we're going to send to the client uh, a message as well. So client send hello from server like this. Um, now let's go ahead and also create a client. And let's say import socket and we're going to say here, uh, essentially client is going to be equal to socket 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 if I net six again. And again, sock stream. So again, a TCP socket, and then we're going to say client connect. In this case, we're going to also connect to localhost. By the way, I'm going to change this here in a second. I just want to show you that it also works like that with a localhost keyword here without any problems. Uh, and then I'm going to just say client dot send hello from client and code client receive 1024 decode print the result. That is that. Uh, did we encode this here? I don't think so. There you go. All right, so we can now run the server and we can also run the client and you're going to see hello from server on the client and hello from client on the server and the server is still listening. So that works with an IPv6 socket. Now we can also replace the word localhost with the actual localhost address. So in IPv4, this was 127001. Um, in IPv6, this is just colon colon one. That is the localhost address um, in IPv6. So we can do that here and here. 
and this is going to have the exact same effect. So I can run this here and I can say, uh, I can run the client as well. And then you can see here, hello from client, hello from server. So that works. And obviously what is also going to work here is uh, using the uh, the IPv6 address. So again, CMD IP config going to the IPv6 address here, uh, copying it. And know that, uh, notice this is the private IPv6 address. You can also go to some website, show me my IPv6, just type it into Google and you're going to get your public IPv6 address. Um, so this is again the same principle. You host on your, your, your bind your socket, your server socket on the local one. Uh, you do port forwarding and you allow uh, the client to connect to the respective port and the client then connects if it's in the inter on the internet and not privately in your local area network, it's going to connect to the public IPv6 address. Same principle as with IPv4. So here we're going to pass this address and we're going to pass this address here as well. And when I run the server and when I run the client, you can see this still works. One last thing that I want to show you here, this is not going to work on my machine because I have the Windows subsystem for Linux. And if you have it, you also uh, won't uh, be able to do that. But what you can do is you can get the IPv6 address automatically if you don't have any virtualization running uh, or any adapter that can be mistaken for it. Um, you can go ahead and say that uh, you want to print the socket get address info of socket dot get host name. So you're getting your host name, you're getting the address info. Um, and then we also say 9999 and then socket dot af inet six. And this gives us in this case, uh, what is that only one usage? Yeah, okay. Um, but you can see here that the result is basically that you get here um, the information that you can use to find out your IPv6 address. And if you want to get the IPv6 address that you have privately, you just take that result and you get the index zero from that you get the index four. And from that you get the index zero. And this gives you uh, the IPv6 address. As I said, this doesn't work for me because it gives me uh, this one here, the Ethernet adapter um, Windows subsystem for Linux. So it gives me it gives me that but otherwise it, it should give you this IP address here. Um, but yeah, this is also a way in which you can get your local IP address automatically. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.